Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right, guys, it is the start of another theme week here on Five Minute Eats. And this week we are doing spicy chicken sandwiches from five of the major fast food chains in our area, and we're gonna try them all out. So guys, this is really funny because back in January, we were gonna do this. We actually filmed two of them, McDonald's and Burger King, and we were gonna get three more and put it out probably in February, but you know how it is, life gets busy. Next thing you know, it's July of 2021, and here we are, but we ran into a problem, which is Burger King actually discontinued their new spicy chicken sandwich and came out with a new one. The so, new, new one. So we're gonna actually now um, do that at the end of the week. So we're gonna kick it off with this. And this is the Arby's Buffalo Spicy Chicken Sandwich thing. It comes like this. Now, it comes with the bun, the chicken that is drenched in buffalo sauce. It has a, I believe, creamy peppercorn ranch sauce. And then it also comes with shredded iceberg lettuce, but we opted not to have the lettuce on there. So this is what we've got. So take Ooh. a look at this. So I guess this is like a buffalo, um, like wing chicken sandwich yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I would assume so. It's quite messy also. So let's open her up. There is the peppercorn ranch kind of sauce. The chicken is really red. Yes, it is. It is very buffalo-y. And this is around $5.50, so it's on the higher end of some of the chicken sandwiches. So guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. That's right. Let's try this out and get into it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. So our rating system, thumbs up, we'd buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a big thumbs up. Really good sandwich here. Talk about taking something so simple. Everyone loves buffalo wings. Make that into a sandwich. And guys, the breading, it's not too thick because some of these places, like for example, Popeyes, mm -hmm. the breading is just too thick. This is perfect. There's plenty of the buffalo sauce, but also the ranch dressing, man, just pops. And the only thing that I would say to make this even better is steam the bun. Mm. And I think that's with everybody. Everybody should be steaming their bun, but otherwise, great sandwich. <laughs> okay. So for me, this is going to be a big thumbs up. I really like this one. This is freaking phenomenal. I love the buffalo and the ranch mixture. That is just an excellent combination. I really, really appreciate that the actual chicken breast is like really coated and saturated in the buffalo. Cause I feel like with some of these chicken sandwiches, they either rely on only the sauce to give you, you know, the, the spiciness and that's like the mayo or whatever that they put on it. Or the breading itself is spicy, but then it doesn't really have enough in there. This is spicy. Like you really taste it in every single bite. The ranch is amazing. Love that they put that on there. My only gripe about this is the bun. I feel like the bun is a little bit dense at times. Like it's a, it's a thick and it's a lot of bun. And I feel like, like you said, steaming it would really help to like kind of help it go down a little bit easier. And just so you guys know, Arby's actually has a value menu and they have a buffalo chicken slider that's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, exactly, and a little more bite-sized version of it. Now here's the last thing I wanna say about this, the chicken, because I feel like the chicken oftentimes is where these places kind of get into the weeds. The chicken on here seems like very good quality. It wasn't stringy or chewy or um, spongy or anything, so I do feel like the chicken quality on here is good. I commend them for that because that is usually my biggest issue. So guys, to sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use your Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.